dear students today we are solving the problems related to the chapter atomic structure and the first question is what are the three longest wavelength spectral lines emitted by the hydrogen atom as it falls to n is equal to one state from higher energy state we have already studied the expression for the wavelength of spectral lines emitted by the hydrogen atom as the wave number nu bar is equal to 1 by lambda is equal to rh into 1 by n1 square minus 1 by n2 square here n1 and n2 are the energy levels to which the transition takes place and from which the transition takes place and rh is the rydberg constant and its value is 1.09678 into 10 raised to 7 here consider the three longest wavelength spectral lines corresponding to transition to the n is equal to one state from higher energy state that is for the first case the transition will be from n2 is equal to 2 to n1 is equal to 1 and the second case transition is n2 is equal to 3 to n1 is equal to 1 and for the third transition n2 is equal to 4 to n1 is equal to 1 that is 2 to 1 transition 3 to 1 transition and 4 to 1 transition and the first wavelength can be represented as lambda 1 that is 1 by lambda 1 can be represented as rh into the first transition is 2 to 1 that is 1 by 1 square minus 1 by 2 square that is rh into 1 minus 1 by 4 that is 3 by 4 rh therefore the wavelength the first longest wavelength spectral line lambda 1 is equal to 4 by 3 rh substituting the value of rh that is rh is equal to 1.09678 then we get the value of lambda 1 as 1220 armstrong and for the second spectral line the transition will be 3 to 1 that is 1 by lambda 2 can be represented as rh into 1 by 1 square minus 1 by 3 square that is rh into 1 minus 1 by 9 that is 8 rh divided by 9 therefore the wavelength can be represented as lambda 2 is equal to 9 divided by 8 rh and substituting the value of rh as 1.09678 into 10 raised to 7 we get the value of lambda 2 as 1025 armstrong and for the next wavelength that is it can be represented as lambda 3 and the transition will be 4 to 1 that is 1 by lambda 3 is equal to rh into 1 by 1 square minus 1 by 4 square that is rh into 1 minus 1 by 16 that is 15 rh divided by 16 or the lambda 3 can be represented as 16 divided by 15 rh substituting the value of rh we get the value of lambda 3 as 970 armstrong that is the three longest wavelength are lambda 1 is 1220 armstrong 
and lambda 2 is 1025 Armstrong and lambda 3 is 970 Armstrong. And second problem, the wavelength of the first member of Bauman series of hydrogen atom is 6563 Armstrong. Calculate the wavelength of second member. We are considering the equation for the wavelength as nu bar is equal to 1 by lambda is equal to Rh into 1 by n1 square minus 1 by n2 square. Here we are considering the Balmer series. The Balmer series is the second series of hydrogen spectra. And we are considering the first member of the Balmer series. Balmer series le transition at n1 is equal to 2 in the level le karna. Higher levels n2 is equal to 3, 4, 5, 6, etc. And we are considering the wavelength of the first member of Balmer series. That is, the first transition will be from 3 to 2. That is, n2 is equal to 3 to n1 is equal to 2. That is the transition. That is, 3 to 2 transition. This is the transition. Then, if this 3 to 2 transition takes place, then the corresponding wavelength is 6563 Armstrong. Then, calculate the wavelength of the second member. The second member transition means it is 4 to 2 transition. It is the second member. That is, lambda, let lambda 1 corresponds to 3 to 2 transition and lambda 2 corresponds to 4 to 2 transitions. Then, lambda 1 can be represented as or 1 by lambda 1 is equal to Rh into 1 by 1 square, my, sorry, 1 by 2 square minus 1 by 3 square that is Rh into 1 by 4 minus 1 by 9 that is lambda 1 can be represented as 36 divided by 5 Rh this is the first equation similarly the lambda 2 can be represented as lambda 2 is equal to 1 by lambda 2 is equal to Rh into <coughs> 1 by 2 square minus 1 by 4 square. That is 1 by lambda 2 is Rh into 1 by 4 minus 1 by 16. And this can be written as that is lambda 2 is 16 divided by 3 Rh. And this can be considered as equation 2. Therefore, equation 1 divided by 2 gives That is 36 into 3 divided by 5 into 16. Therefore, the wavelength of the second member lambda 2 can be written as 5 into 16 into lambda 1. Here, lambda 1 is given as 6563 Armstrong. That is 6563 into 10 to minus 10 meter. That is the value of lambda 2 is 4861 Armstrong. That is the wavelength of the second member of the Bama series is 4861 into 10 to minus 10 meter. And third problem is the energy of hydrogen in the ground state is minus 13.6 EV. Determine the energy of those levels whose quantum numbers are 2 and 4. Also compute the frequency due to transition from 
n is equal to 4 to n is equal to 2. We have studied the equation for the energy of electron in a hydrogen atom and also the energy of hydrogen in the ground state. Here in the ground state the energy is given as minus 13.6 EV that is the ground state energy is labeled as E1 and it is minus 13.6 EV. That means E1 is equal to 1 square is equal to this minus 13.6 EV where 1 means the general equation is En is equal to minus 13.6 divided by n square Ev and for the ground state n is equal to 1 and determine the energies of those levels whose quantum numbers are 2 that is for n is equal to 2 the energy is E2 is equal to minus 13.6 divided by 2 square Ev that is minus 3.4 EV and for n is equal to 4 state the energy is E4 is equal to minus 13.6 divided by 4 square EV that is minus 0 0.85 EV that is the energy corresponds to quantum numbers n is equal to 2 and n is equal to 4. Also compute the frequency due to transition from n is equal to 4 to n is equal to 2. That is when a transition takes place different energy levels then radiation of frequency nu is equal to this E4 minus E2 divided by H is emitted. That is this frequency can be calculated and E4 minus E2 divided by H according to Bohr condition H nu is equal to E2 minus E1 that is when a transition takes place from the second state to the first state. Here transition takes place from the fourth state to the second state that is E4 minus E2 is equal to H nu or the frequency of radiation emitted during this transition can be represented as nu is equal to E4 minus E2 divided by H and the value of E4 is minus 0.85 EV minus 3.4 EV divided by the value of H is 6.634 into 10 S2 minus 34 and this value is 6.15 into 10 raised to 14 hertz. That is the frequency emitted or the frequency of radiation emitted during the transition from the fourth state to the second state. And the next problem. The wavelength of a line in hydrogen spectrum is 5000 Armstrong. Find out the related energy change of atom in electron volt. So here the frequency, sorry, the uh, wavelength is given as lambda is equal to 5000 into 10 to minus 10 meter. And we know the equation energy is equal, e is equal to h nu is equal to hc divided by lambda. And this gives the energy in joule. That is the value of H is 6.634 into 10 raised to minus 34 joule second. And C is 3 into 10 to 8 meter per second. And lambda is given as 5000 Armstrong. That is E can be written as And this is the energy in joule. But we know that 1 EV is equal to 1.6 into 10 S2 minus 19 joule. Therefore, the energy in electron volt can be represented as 
this quantity that is 6.634 into 10 is to minus 34 into 3 into 10 is to 8 divided by 5000 into 10 is to minus 10 into 1.6 into 10 is to minus 19 that is this value gives 0 0.0039 804 into 10 is to minus 16 divided by 1.6 into 10 is to minus 19 ev that, that is it is 2.5 ev that is the energy in electron volt the next problem is the wavelength of the h alpha line in hydrogen spectrum is 6563 Armstrong find the wavelength of the H gamma line and second part the third line of the past tense series and the wavelength of the H gamma line means in an hydrogen spectrum the H gamma line arises due to the transition from N2 is equal to 2 from sorry N2 is equal to 3 to n1 is equal to 2 level that is 3 to 2 transitions that is h alpha line the h alpha line h gamma line all lines are in the Bama series the Bama series uh, spectrum the lowest energy state is n1 is equal to 2 and the higher states are n2 is equal to 3 4 5 etc and the h alpha line corresponds to 3 to to transition and H beta line means it corresponds to 4 to 2 transition H beta and H gamma line it corresponds to 5 to 2 transition here we are considering the H alpha and H gamma line that is 3 to 2 transition and 5 to 2 transition and the wavelength of H alpha line is already given that is the transition corresponds to 3 to 2 level it is given that is the wavelength can be represented corresponds to H alpha line can be represented as lambda alpha and this lambda alpha is 36 divided by 5 RH that is according to this equation 1 by lambda is equal to RH into 1 by n1 square minus 1 by n2 square here we are considering the alpha line that is 1 by lambda alpha is equal to the alpha line corresponds to 1 by 2 square minus 1 by 3 square that is rh into 1 by 4 minus 9 that is Lambda alpha can be written as 36 divided by 5 RH that is lambda alpha and next line is H alpha sorry H gamma line the H gamma line corresponds to a transition that is 5 to 2 and the corresponding spectral line or the wavelength can be represented as lambda gamma is equal to it corresponding to transition that is 1 by lambda gamma is equal to rh into 1 by 4 minus 1 by 25 because the transition is from 4 to 2 that is 1 by 2 square minus sorry 5 to 2 that is 1 by 2 square minus 1 by 5 square that is 1 by 4 minus 1 by 25 and it can be represented as lambda gamma is equal to 100 divided by 21 RH and from these two equations lambda alpha divided by lambda gamma is equal to 36 into 21 divided by 5 into 100 therefore the value of the lambda gamma that is the wavelength of the h alpha line can be written as 5 into 100 into lambda alpha is given as 6563 Armstrong 
that is 6 by 6 3 into 10 is to minus 10 divided by 36 into 21 and this will give the value as 4340 Armstrong that is 4340 into 10 is to minus 10 meter that is the first part the value of the the wavelength of the h alpha line it is 4340 Armstrong then the second part is the third line of past tense series the past tense series the lowest transition is that is n1 is equal to 3 and n2 is equal to 4 5 6 etc so we are considering the third line of the past tense series and the first transition is from 4 to 3 and the second transition in past tense series is from 5 to 3 and the third transition is from 6 to 3 and here we are considering the third line of the past tense series that is the 6 to 3 transition and the corresponding wavelength can be represented as lambda 3 that is 1 by lambda 3 is equal to rh into 1 by 3 square minus 1 by 6 square because the transition is from 6 to 3 and it can be represented as rh into 1 by 9 minus 1 by 36 or the lambda 3 can be represented as lambda 3 is equal to 36 into 9 divided by 27 into Rh and substituting the value of Rh that is 1.09678 into 10 to 7 and this will give the value as 109 for one Armstrong that is the value of the third line of the sorry the value of the wavelength of the third line of past tense series it is 10941 Armstrong okay so these are the problems